Hey you guys, I'm back. I wanted to make another video because I am so blind, honestly. Um, I was out all day today and I came home and I had this really cute like wrap top, crop top thing on. And I was so uncomfortable. So I put my dad's shirt on. Um, so that's why I look a little weird. Um, but that's just how I am. Like, I will wear a full face of makeup and a tank top and sweatpants. I don't know. I've always been that way. Um, I wanted to talk to y'all about some of my favorite oracle cards and tarot decks. It's mostly oracle. Um, because I know a lot of y'all are, like, getting into tarot readings and stuff. And I have, like, I don't remember if it's 22 or 25 decks have a lot and it's where I started it's like how I realized I was a medium um it's very special to me and I recommend oracle decks before tarot that way you can get to know yourself and figure out what gifts that you have um and not be so overwhelmed because tarot and the symbolism can be so overwhelming and this one, the first one, the Psychic Tarot is what it's called. Some of these actually correspond with tarot cards. So this one, Spiritual Union, it's number two. And it says, you know, Spiritual Union, so two of cups. Um, hmm. Moving on, number six would be... Um, Six of Swords. Let's see. Fertility. Um, triumph. I think that's Six of Wands. I believe. Victory. Um, trapped in Fear. Number eight. Eight of Swords. <laughs> Harmony. Six of Cups. Uh, sacrifice, light, positive movement forward. So these cards are beautiful and they're pretty straightforward. Like you could do a reading on yourself with no problem with these um, and not be so like overwhelmed. I started with tarot and oracle um, and how I found out that I was a medium was my dad kept coming uh, through when I was doing tarot readings on myself. It freaked me out at first, but yeah, it's beautiful. So I have a lot of love for these. Um, you can get this on Amazon. It's probably one of the more easier ones to find, to be honest. The next one. And before y'all clock me, you're probably wondering, Nikki, that's the love, what is it, Romance Angels, Love Angels something, right, by Miss Doreen Virtue. Mm -hmm. Um, well, when I started my journey, I'm pretty sure Miss Doreen, for the Christian side of things and stopped all production on her oracle cards so people were selling them for like three like this was three hundred dollars a piece the regular size original um you know because these may or may not be but probably are bootleg <laughs> i did what i had to do because i was not about to spend $300 on some oracle cards. I'm sorry. And that's what people were selling them for. So I I'm pretty sure these are from Japan. I'm not condoning buying that oracle card. I did what I had to do. Um, they're well made, at least. You know, I've had them for like almost four years and they're not falling apart. Um, they're just tiny, which is fine because I have small hands. But 
religious factors, the irony that we're talking about in the story, right? Deception. Chemistry. Keep an open mind. Wedding. True love. Like, these are beautiful. But with all love oracle decks and love readings in general, if you're doing it on yourself, you need to be real with yourself. Because, like, I know the obsession that can start with love readings. Um, a lot of you ladies spend too much time on Twin Flame TikTok. And y'all will, like, compulsively throw your own cards and compulsively watch those videos. And I get it. Um, I'm not dragging you for it or anything. I'm just saying. Because what happens when you're, like like tossing your cards like this because you're super anxious and you want to know um or you want to know if he's cheating or you want to know if he still loves you that's chaotic fearful anxious um rushed energy so it's going to invite obsessive is going to invite those spirits because when you actually sit down and start pulling cards it is a portal you're talking to somebody. It's either your higher self, your guardian angel, your ancestors, one of your spirit guides, whoever you um, pull cards with. They're not just, you know, it's called divination for a reason, divine spirit. So yeah, just be careful. Um, I don't remember where I got these. I want to say eBay. But again, that was four years ago. I don't condone, I, I mean, I don't buy bootleg or knockoff anything, ever. But this, I was like, I need those cards, and I'm not paying $300. Um, the next one, these ones are my absolute favorite. Sorry, when I shuffle, for some reason, like, they get, like, flipped, like, some of them are reversed, I don't know, I shuffle really weird. I have this weird thing about my hands, like shuffling, counting money, anything like that. I do it super weird. Like my hands can't do it the right way. Like I can't do all of the like bendy tricks, you know, when people have the two decks and they go like this and then they pop them inward. I can't do that. I just do this like eight times and then that's it. Um, so they get a little... Okay. Anyway, these are the self-care oracle cards by Maruk on Etsy. These are so beautiful. They have chakra ones, and it's for self-care, but it's like realistic stuff. Some of it is like take, take a bubble bath, literally. Um, get a massage. Um, let's see. There's a sacral chakra one. Start a new hobby. Um, ritual, because I'm pretty sure Miss Maruk is a witch. Start a side hustle, right? So this is in a self-care deck. There's also use discernment. Wake up early, celebrate yourself. Um, health checkup. It's not just like, get a massage, that's what I was talking about. It's not just like, um non-productive stuff because yes rest is productive and softness on yourself is needed but sometimes you gotta go to the doctor nice. crown chakra escape materialism see because a lot of times we go to like retail therapy for self-care which i get it especially if you work really hard like you're working hard for your money you should you know you want yourself but i think sometimes i can be taken too far um positive affirmations throat chakra small things matter ground yourself that's a good one make new friends level up social media detox get unstuck crystal healing like they are absolutely beautiful and i'll show y'all one more because i don't want to show y'all all of them 
I don't think she would like that. Um, I love all of them, but yeah, pick creative. Like they're beautiful and they're shiny and they're well made. Um, they are like $65 on Etsy, I believe, but you get a good handful of cards, so I definitely don't mind. But if you can find them and you really want them, like go ahead and get them because last time I was looking at them, there was like one left in stock. So I really appreciate her. Um, the next one goes back to what I was just saying about, like, be honest with yourself, especially with decks like these. I love this one. It's by All Things Intuitive. She actually lives in Georgia, and she sent me a thank you note with my order, and she was like, oh, I live in Georgia too. You know, it's nice to, um, meet another reader that's from Georgia, and I was like, oh, I think I put the note on my fridge, to be honest, because it was really sweet. Um, but this one is the Hidden Truth Oracle. Mostly it's used for love readings, right? And the reason that you have to be honest with yourself is because, like I'll show you, let's just say that I'm 20 or 21, 21 year old Nikki, right? Pulling cards on my false twin, <coughs> Ethan. I don't even care anymore. Oh, it's Ethan's birthday today. God, that man is so fine, but I I think that he has, um, I'm not going to say what I think he has, but he's very cold. Anyway, let's say that I'm 21 or 22 year old Nikki pulling cards on Ethan, right? I'm not universe. I'm just giving an example. And Ethan and I had a fight, right? Let's see. I'm becoming a better person. Okay. We can keep pulling because... We're trying to figure out how he feels towards me, right? I knew exactly what I was doing. So Ethan and I had a fight. He did X, Y, and Z. Um, he hurt my feelings. That should be enough, right? But a lot of times, if you just started in doing divination and you don't like the answer, you will, like, pull and pull and pull until you get the answer you're looking for. Finding out the truth crushed me. I know I messed up everything. We need to let each other go. I wish I could take back my words. Blah, blah, blah. Here's a, like some in here that's saying, I love you, I want to be with you again. We will be together again, right? And then there's some that basically saying, he's not thinking about you, girl. So you don't want to like invite that energy in and lie to yourself and all that but this is a beautiful deck i got this one etsy too i believe it's all things intuitive it's beautiful um ooh, this one i remember my tt had given me a, me a reading with these like three years ago and that's how i found out about these Guess what this deck is called, you guys. And I already uh, named my business when I found out about these. These are the Dark Goddess Oracle cards. Oh, I think, is that a Zoe? No. Okay. But some of these goddesses, I'm not gonna lie, like, I've never heard of. Oh, uh, I just, they're different cultures. Nuba, I'm pretty sure that's an Asian goddess. Um another asian one rain i don't right ran skilla i'm pretty sure she's a greek goddess um pandora we all know the story about pandora kami kami ma destruction um the morgan sovereignty goddess of war and the artwork is amazing. Persephone is Maman Majit's. I don't remember if Maman Majit's card is still in here. Because Maman does have a card in here. Um, but I have put it on her altar. I don't remember. And I was cleaning it one day if I put it back. Because I haven't seen it. 
Pick a take, same thing. I've only gotten this is like I really are not in this deck anymore because I use the cards. Lilith, equality. With the snake. Um, Ma'at. I can never say her name. Oya. My fair phone Oya. Deliverance. Urzuli. Here we go. But this does not say Urzuli Freda or Urzuli Dantor. And to be quite honest, no shade to the beautiful artists that made these oracle cards. Because I think they might be AI. This looks like Bridget. Not Urzuli Dantor or Freda. Just saying. She's beautiful, but she's got red hair and face paint. That's definitely Bridget. But Bridget's card is beautiful. Um, Medusa. Dear one, Inanna, Medea, uh, and, uh, yeah. Yeah, I took some cards out for sure. Because I use them on their altars. Um, I think I got this on Amazon. Pretty sure. Um, the next one, if you have children around for some reason and you're watching this, this one is 18 and up. Um, this is the tarot of sexual magic. It is a tarot deck. Um, 90% of these cards I can't show you guys. Can't show that one. Because the video will get taken down. I'm like, how will it flat? <laughs> oh my. Okay. That one's not that bad. He's like writing an angry letter. This one, she's not naked. <laughs> Queen of Swords. I'm pretty sure she's doing witchcraft because there's like a heart and a candle and a bell, and she's looking at the picture of her man, or ex, or whoever. You can see at the bottom what I'm talking about. Um, you can get this one Etsy. They're very racy. Ooh. So it's good for like love readings and stuff. Um. I don't really post pictures of this one just because it's pretty racy. But I mean, I like the artwork and that's how we all came to be. So yeah. Next one is the Black Moon Lilith Astrology deck. This one I love. Um, you get so, I don't even know how many cards are in here. And honestly, I have probably lost a few, um, but I still have a bunch. This is a good deck, but I would only get it if you are advanced in tarot and if you have a good like understanding of astrology. And like in the guidebook, in the explanation, it's very detailed, but it can be very overwhelming. Um, but it's got like all the planets and stuff, all the elements, fire element, desire. Um, fourth house roots, so it'll also help you, you know, learn astrology and what all the houses mean. You can just look at this in the guidebook. Chiron, healing, 11th house, friends, Pisces, I believe. Yeah, so every zodiac sign has like an affirmation. Seventh house, partners, second house, owning. Capricorn I use and that's not like I use people that's saying that Capricorns are resourceful so they use what they have Pluto transformation Virgo I analyze that they do okay I'll show you a few more eighth house ending slash beginnings Taurus I have because we all know Taurus loves their possessions and their stuff Lunar Eclipse, Change, Grand Trine, Blessings, Aries, I Am, yeah, 
so these are beautiful um good for clarifying This one is the Mermaid Oracle, because you know I love mermaids. Um, I think I got this one when I went to Charlotte. At, what is it called? The Mall in Charlotte? I don't think it was Barnes & Noble, it was some other bookstore. But they had a whole section of Oracle cards. And I got this one. Um, the Selkie and her skin. I'm pretty sure the Selkie is like the Irish or Scottish version of the mermaid. Um, the Return of Aphrodite. So there's Miss Aphrodite. Um, sisterhood. So this is like the triple moon type thing. Sisterhood. Allies. Um, there is one in here for Yamaya. Um, let me see if I can find it. Dreams, Con conchomancy, conchomancy, I don't know. Divination with shells, basically. Endurance, there it is. Yamaya. It says Yamaya, Grandmother Ocean Primordial. Oh. I love these so much. And they're so, like, feminine, so I love using these, like, you know, with my female clients. Um, last one, I want to say this one is the Moon Goddess Oracle. Um, I got this one at that bookstore in Charlotte, too. And I think that you can get this one on Amazon. Um, Resistance. Gratitude. Um, and they have some for the moon phases too. Let me see if I can find one. Yeah. Oop. Dark moon, the void. Queen of the moon, sovereignty. Resilience. I really like the detail on that one. Um, discernment. Surrender. It says Waxing Crescent 6, The Path. Waning Crescent 4, Release. New Moon, Beginnings. Let's see, I'll show you all one more. masculine and self-love so another deck that I use a lot and I will show y'all this one because it is very beautiful but I could not find this online I'm pretty sure I got it at a spiritual shop like two or three years ago I thought it was called like Twin Flame Oracle. I couldn't find it. I mean, I Googled everywhere, I couldn't find it. But they're heart shaped. And each of them has a different like artwork on the back that actually looks hand drawn. That's beautiful. See? Embrace. Yeah, so like this one, it has that, and then it says embrace on it. And it has like red roses. Freedom, there is nothing stopping you. The path is clear if you want it to be. And then that's the, um, the art. If you have that deck and you know what it's called, please DM me or message me because if I wouldn't order it again or gift it to someone because they like it or something, I'm not giving mine away. So I would like to know. I tried to go on Pinterest, couldn't find it, Amazon, Etsy, nothing. So 
Yeah, um, but you don't need like tons and tons of decks, honestly. I, I just kind of went crazy when I first started, to be honest. Um, because I was super into it, like, I was doing readings all the time on myself. I did readings on myself and like super close family members and friends for like a year before I started doing them for business because I had to get really comfortable and I didn't want to like rush myself but yeah this one I think is always going to be my absolute favorite because I just appreciate it because it's all about like realistic self-care and not just like take a bubble bath and forget about it like girl Okay, I will, but, and then what, you know, so, if you guys want a reading, um, message me or WhatsApp me, um, I don't mind, like, if you, for whatever reason, prefer Oracle and Tarot readings because you want to see the cards and stuff, um, I totally understand. And I will send you pictures as I go along or whatever, or we can video chat. It would probably be easier. Um, I just, if y'all don't ask for it, then I kind of go with what my gut tells me that day. Um, which is not terrible or horrible. But if y'all want a reading, y'all message me. Um, and I will get back to y'all. Alright, I love you guys. Don't overwhelm yourselves. Um, I love it, but if I absolutely had to pick two that you should get, this one, the Psychic Tarot, just because, like I said, it does coincide with a lot of tarot cards, and it's very straightforward. Um, let's see. And of love, spiritual strength, intuition. I think that's supposed to be like the high priestess. Um, stand your ground. This one. And. Hmm. Probably the mermaid one, honestly. Because I feel like this one, the Moon Goddess one, and the Psychic Tarot, they're very similar. But the Mermaid one is pretty unique. So, yeah, Psychic Tarot and Mermaid one. But I love you guys, and I will see y'all next time. I'm going to go eat some dinner and rest because I was out all day today. But I love you guys. Message me if you want to be.